Why what? Uh, what kind of question is this? Uh, I really don't know how to respond to that. Um, uh... Why, yes! Thank you for asking. Seriously? Is, is that the best question you can come up with? Oh, I'll do you one better. How? Uh, okay, I'll stop. That was terrible. Why not? Is this serious? <sighs> can we just proceed? Okay? Uh, you all right there, bud? You have to be more concise with your questions next time. Ha ha. Very funny. I don't really eat pineapples, so it's definitely not me. But I'm confident my brother can. Oh me! I love pineapples! Do you have some right now? I'm starving! We are in the middle of a Q&A. Sorry about that. I think Perry can. Or maybe our friend Joe. He's always had quite the appetite. Oh, I do love pineapples. <laughs> but I don't think I could eat them all without sharing. I would feel very guilty if I just enjoyed all the food by myself. I don't think I'm the right person for that at all. But I think Doe can. <laughs> What's a pineapple? Is it a fruit? If so, I never had one before. But, but I'd love to try it sometime. I'd say... Um, probably Theo. I despise pineapple. Oh, I don't think I can. My stomach can't handle too much food. But I think our friend Bree can. She really likes fruits. Hmm. Yeah, I probably can. I'm not sure, though. I don't really like pineapples. But I'll give it to Lara instead, since she really likes fruits. Ooh, I love pineapples! But I don't think I can eat that much. <laughs> pineapples are great, I guess. But I won't eat a lot of it. But I think Ezra can. He can eat all the pineapples and cry himself to sleep. Gross. Uh, first of all, disgusting! Secondly, what's up with these questions? Can we have some interesting ones? Huh. What a peculiar question. I had a pet worm when I was a child. I thought it was a caterpillar and I was hoping it would turn into a butterfly. Sadly, it didn't, but they were a great pet, though. Uh, they're okay, I guess. Do they turn into a butterfly? If so, then I love worms! I won't touch one if I were you. No, I'm not afraid or anything. Alex, Alex, wait, careful. There is a centipede behind you. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Theo, on my grave, I swear. My turn! Wait, what's the question again? Oh, uh, worms. They're nice creatures. What's up with these bizarre questions? Hmm. I think they're fantastic creatures. Every creature is a wonderful masterpiece, I would say. I swear to God, what's up with these questions? I mean, I think they're nice, but good thing I'm not a worm. I would totally die from just eating leaves and roots. And other things worms eat. I also don't want to crawl from one place to another. The way they move and ugh, it would just be really... Uh, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. It's just me being lost in my thoughts again. <laughs> oh, disgusting. No, they tried to attack me once. It was a traumatizing experience. They make honey, so yes, but I don't like being close to one. I think so. I like honey. Does that count as a yes? I don't know. Uh, yes? Bees are nice. Honey's my favorite. It's really sweet. I only ate it once, and it was a taste of heaven itself. Uh, I don't really like insects, so no? They're nice. I like how they work together to keep the hive alive. I wish the world was that simple. Where everyone just lives together in harmony. I hate them. I really like their honey? I think they're okay. 
what is up with these questions? Can we just go now? Okay, to be honest, I'm really scared to lose my brother. Those raiders took everything away from me. I'm not allowing them to take him too. Oh wow, that went really serious. <laughs> well, I really fear losing my sister. She's all that I got. I just fear that they will take her too, like they did to our parents. But I promised Dad that I will protect her, so I will. I'm gonna be honest. I'm scared of losing everyone I have right now. Especially Noah. He is one of the only reasons I keep going. I will protect him with everything I have, even if it kills me. I made a promise, and I intend on keeping it. I, uh, I'm scared that one day, everything and everyone that I'm trying to protect will just be gone. You know? I'm not letting that happen. Not again. I fear losing my friends. And Florence. I don't want anyone to leave. I don't want anything to change. I... I fear that those raiders will discover us and take some of us. They did that before and... I don't really want to experience that again. Well, we lost some people not so long ago. And it was not a nice time for all of us in the group. You know, I really care about my friends, and... And so I fear losing them. I fear losing my kids. Barry and Harper are the only reason I keep going. Without them, I would just... <sighs> wow, this question is harder than I thought. I lose everything. And I cannot risk losing them, too. I fear that one day, everyone will just see me as a failure. But I won't let that happen. One day I can prove to them that I'm worth something. I'm really scared that Ezra will lose his way, you know? I believe there's so much better things for him out there. If he just stops being stubborn and listens to me for once, maybe he could get somewhere. Why would I share that? Are you trying to be close to me or something? Well, there's no other option but to ride the canoe since the Wasted Heights, where, which is where we resided, are mostly bodies of water, so canoe was the most vital way of transport we had. Florence, she's, uh, something. <laughs> Kinda scary, though. I think she's planning to end me or something. If you don't hear anything back from me, you know who to blame. Hey! I heard that! Oh god, she heard me! What kind of stupid you talking? It honestly depends. If he's being an idiot, then I'm just gonna tell him to stop. I won't hurt someone unless they're being violent. That's what Amelia taught me, and I've taken it to heart. Well, I was getting some food from the abandoned town when I found her there. It was really not a friendly first meeting. She was stealing our food, so I had to pin her down. And then I saw Noah crying. That's when I knew. They were just like us. So I asked her if she wanted to join us, since we were only a few at the time. And the rest is history. <laughs> I'm really glad that I met her. She has been my bestest friend ever since, and I wouldn't trade her for anyone. I really don't remember anything. Since Florence took care of me for as long as I can remember. But, I do recall stories that she told me. She said she was really pretty, and she resembles me a lot. So that totally means I'm pretty good looking myself! Yeah... Seriously? You get one question, and that's what you ask. Well... To be honest... Sometimes... Since all my friends are friggin' tall, but being small can have some perks, like I can hide into small spaces or move through crowds easily. Oh, Alex is my bestest friend. 
But besides him, I'm really close to Bree and Reggie. How did I get the scar? Um, well, uh, I got it when we were training. Oh, uh, d does it look bad? I, I tried to hide it, but it it's still visible. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, the, the question. Um, how I got the scar, right? Right, 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 well, um. Can we just stop this? It's making her uncomfortable. And no. Huh? Oh, what, what, what no? It, it doesn't, you know what? Never mind. If I can go back in time, I would go back to the incident that started all this. Maybe my children can have a better life. We get along just fine. Sometimes we bicker, nothing serious though. It's just small things that we fight over. <laughs> a simp? What is that? I've never heard of that before. I should probably ask people what that word means. I don't know what simp means! Please get somebody explain! I really like fish. Any fish, all kinds of fish. Fish is great. Hmm, this is very hard. Mmm... I would say anything meat will do. He would hide behind the bushes and jump in front of me when we were kids. Does that count as a prank? Well, one time she placed grasshoppers on my bed. <laughs> I don't really like insects. His reaction was priceless. He was screaming like a girl. All of you should have seen it. <laughs> oh, shut up! After that prank, it was a few days before I could sleep properly again. Now that you mention it, uh, I can feel them crawling on my face. Ah! They're everywhere, man! Aw, thanks, bub. You too. First off, it is really hard to lead people. I am really glad that Florence and Alex are there to guide me from time to time. <clears throat> well, as a leader, I... I don't really like calling myself that, to be honest. I'm just the guy who maintains order inside the group. Leader is a big word, you know? And I... <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm getting sidetracked. I apologize. <clears throat> uh, okay. Since we're a total of ten in the group, I would assign them their task. Some people fish, some people guard the borders, and some hunt for rabbits. As you can see, most of us find food since it's really important for everyone to eat. And about guarding the borders? It's just to make sure no raiders can get in. From what I've remembered, Florence and I have been living together for some time. Then we met Perry. First, I thought he was bad, but he offered us a place to stay. And we've been here ever since! And also, I don't even know what the group is called either. So, maybe, just call us... The Best Friend Squad! I think it has a nice ring to it, don't you think? No, no, uh, we are not calling ourselves that. Oh, Alex! Please! What is up with these questions? They're all about my height, like... Uh, firstly, no. I have accepted that I will never get taller. But I would see myself being a great medic. I'm really fascinated about patching people up and all that stuff. Why, hello, do you need a professional medic? <laughs> I mean, no, uh... I just... I begged Alex to teach me how to be one because I really love it. Now I'm learning new things every day, and it's very exciting so far. First of all, we are not called raiders. We are called rescuers. I don't know why rogues call us that. We just want to help them by offering them a better life by asking them to join us. 
but some pesky rogues make our job harder than it is supposed to be. So we have to force them to join us. It's their fault for being so stubborn. We also take their supplies so the capital can thrive, since many rescuers are expecting rations and stuff. For the second question, while I was forced to become one since my parents want me to see the world, which is stupid. As for Laura and I, we were assigned to find and catch those two brats. I don't really know why, but I'm determined to catch those two so I can prove to those fools who they're messing with. I can't really say if I like what I'm doing, but I really have to do it to claim my honor. Since Ed's already told you about our assignment, I'm just gonna answer the second question. Well, I really don't like doing it. Oh, but uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Um, uh, it's just... <sighs> I believe I could do more things if I weren't serving the capital. I sometimes daydream that I could just be a bird so I could just fly away from my responsibilities, you know? Lots of things. And I blame myself for that. They could have a normal life where they could just be happy children who just play and don't worry about anything. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest. I really, really hated him at first. The guy was a jerk. But as soon as I found out he deeply cared about his sister, I came to realize that he's not that bad of a guy. He wants to protect his family, and that has a whole lot of respect in my book. Why are you looking at me like that? N nothing! C can we move on, please? Ugh, like I said before, my parents were both rescuers, and now they serve inside the capital. Since they have such high expectations when it comes to me, they forced me to become one. By signing up as one, you can have the chance to be respected and have a better life inside the capital. Since I lost my family when I was young, the orphanage that took me forced us to become one when we turned a certain age. I basically don't have a choice since the capital is providing for us in return for our service. But as a kid, I really wanted to join so I could have a better life for myself. Well, raiders took me away from my family, uh, who are rogues, by the way. I was very young at that time, so I couldn't find my ma and pa. They, uh, they then put me in an orphanage, and that's where I met Ez. Uh, as he mentioned earlier, we were forced to become raiders, since the capital provides for us, and we need to return the favor. I was really hopeful when they said I could become one, because I really want to search for my family. I'm optimistic I can find them. And one day say to them that I'm alive and well. <laughs> what kind of question is this? I love them equally. I can't have a favorite child because both of them are wonderful in their own unique ways. Favoritism is a big no for me, since I don't want anyone being left out. I'm not gonna lie to you. This was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I was still very young at the time, and without Amelia or Sol, I was left in the dark with nothing but myself and a child to raise. This was terrifying. I had no idea what I was doing, but I promised Amelia that I would protect him so long as I live. The first thing I had to do was find a place to stay. At first, we met a group of rogues. It was fine at first, but as time came to pass, they became malicious. They kicked us both out because we had nothing to contribute to the group. We had no choice but to leave. We had to fend for ourselves. It wasn't until years later, when I met Perry and the others, we finally had a place to stay. 
And I couldn't be more grateful. I sleep during the night. How about you? Do you sleep at all? Anybody oop? Oh my god, how'd you find out? <laughs> yes, I am the one and the only Visco Queen. Hashtag save the turtles. <laughs> Hold on. Let me um, get my Hydro Flask. Oh my god, he would never. Well, if he does, I will convert him to be a Visco. And I will give him all of my scrunchies. <laughs> Are we done? Can I take this off? I want my strawberry cookies. Well, it started with four other people, including myself. It was hard being a small group and all, but as time passed, we met new people along the way. And I'm glad that I have the opportunity to be friends with all these wonderful people. Sadly, I don't. But well, those tasted really, really good. Every bite itself makes me want to ascend. You know, I would sleep and wait for it to be done. I actually don't know. Maybe run a lot so when we switch back, she will be exhausted for no reason. Or I could make her swim in a pool of grasshoppers for revenge! Hey! 